Welcome back, kids and coaches. I'm Coach Kent Murphy. Go ahead and pull up Google. You're going to need it while I dive into the Pittsburgh Pirates lineup. The streets of Pittsburgh are lined with the broken dreams of Pirates fans and Jim Leland's cigarette butts. Hell, being a Pirates fan is like being a fan of the other team in any sports movie ever. That only really worked out once in Rocky 1, but uh, that actually came out about the same time the Pirates won their last championship. But the city has a lot of history, from the steel mills to the bathrooms that Ben Roethlisberger bangs his fans in. So let's pretend to know these guys as I dig into the Pirates roster for 2020. Here at pitcher, we got old Joe Musgrove anchoring the staff. If the Pirates pitching staff was a hand in euchre, Joe Musgrove is the offsuit you throw first just to get rid of it. Hell, he was a 2017 Astro too, which is surprising that he can't figure out how to win games outside of Houston. At closer, we got old Keone Kayla. His initials are KK, but uh, his stats are BS. He had five save opportunities last year and he blew four of them. Sounds like my ex-girlfriend when she sees five guys at a party. Moving right along in our game of who the hell is that, at catcher we got Jacob Stallings. If you Google his name, the shoulder shrug emoji just pops up. Hell, I Googled it and it just said, did you mean literally anything else? At first base we got old Josh Bell, a true dinger machine. He's only smiling in his team photo because his game check finally didn't bounce for once. Hell, at second base we got old Adam Frazier. His stats are about as boring as the TV show Frazier. He had 10 dingers last year. One for each season ticket holder. At third base, we got old Colin Moran. His favorite movie is The Drop, starring his fielding. He had 14 airs last year. Hell, he had more balls go between his legs than Brandy Love. At shortstop, we got old Kevin Newman. Hell, he batted 308 last year with 12 dingers and 60 RBIs. 15 more years of that and people will be screaming that you should be a unanimous Hall of Famer, like that other shortstop who's currently driving the Marlins straight into the ground. In left field, we got old Brian Reynolds. Had 16 dingers last year and struck out in 25% of his at-bats, which is pretty good if you're into uh, never getting laid. In center field, we got old Jared Dyson. Hell, the Pirates put in a request with the league office, but unfortunately, they were told they couldn't play with just eight. So here we are, Jared. You flirted with a 231 batting average last year, but fell just short of being almost mediocre. In right field, we got old Gregory Polanco. He's the reason every kid that plays high school baseball actually thinks they have a chance of going pro. He's never met a pitch he didn't like, but uh, hey, he's speeding up the game, so I guess that's good. So there you have it. Gonna be another rough decade for the Pirates. Hell, Mike Tomlin said he actually is a big baseball fan, but he can't attend games because his eyes might finally bulge out of his head. Good news for Pirates fans is, though, most of you could probably make the team. Plus, your stadium's right by the river, so, you know, you can just jump in and be carried away to literally any other town in America to root for somebody else. So my prediction for wins for the Pirates this year is I don't think it's crazy to think you could win four games, and if you go full Astros, I could see you cracking double digits and getting 10.